on for about two and a half years, and uh, it's it's becoming uh, it's becoming like we have a store with a line out the door. Uh, you know, we just need more employees to take care of everybody. Um, it's really exciting. A lot of a lot of things have started to come about from a lot of hard work. Um, it's definitely it, you know it takes some time and it takes a lot of, a lot of uh, persistence, but. Um, the opportunities are starting to show, and, and we're we're doing great. We're doing really good. Really, things are just it's just exciting. I've got seven or eight guys working with us right now. I've got a partner who uh, who, who bought into Texoma, and we're working together. And he really completes me. You know, wherever I'm weak, uh, he's strong in a lot of areas. And you know, I love getting out there and being being in front of people, talking to them. I get excited, and uh, he loves. He's analytical and clinical. He's on the computer all the time, and uh, getting the dealers involved really wasn't that difficult because. These three products, they're contagious. You start talking about clean oil and about extending oil drains and saving people money and saving the environment. Everyone's going green right now. Everyone wants to get involved. And I, I have not gone out and recruited one dealer. All the eight people that are working for us right now have come to me and said, you know, how can I get involved? Can I come and sell? And, and uh, most of them are part-time. I've got one full-timer at the moment. We had two, but he went and got a part-time job because it's, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. And uh, it is hard work. And it's, like I said, I've been in it eight months or nine months now. And the first six months were just, just awful. It was really hard. Uh, but you, you strive through it and you get there, and now things are really starting to roll. We've got installations every month now, and last month was our biggest month, and this month is bigger than that, and this next month is going to be huge. We've uh, been committed to, to have a whole bunch more installs, like probably 100 installs next month, so it's, it's really starting to roll. I could see the potential out there for what this was going to be. I didn't want to sit on the sidelines and watch everyone else let it go by me and sit in the office all day working. I wanted to be out selling the product, be out in the field with the customers. It's exciting, it's new, and it works. And it's an easy sell because it saves them so much money. The product works, and uh, it's just fun and exciting to be in the middle of it all. And women can sell this product. As far as PowerUp, um, we've been distributor for PowerUp for over 20 years. Um, Mark Bishop come by and sold it to us years ago. And we've been sold on it for a long time. We've used it in a lot of our uh, pumps and motors at the shop. Uh, when I met John, I've got to make sure I get his name right, John Cleveland, met him and he came and gave us another demonstration last December, well, December of 07 or 06, and showed me the clean oil and the bi biomatrix. And I was really impressed with the biomatrix, how quick it, it ate up the oil and encapsulated it and just really a good thing for our area because we've got a lot of construction companies that have old equipment that's always leaking oil on the ground and that the uh, OSHA and MSHA are always wanting to find them for it. So it's going to work out good for, for sucking up that oil and for bioremediation. So I'm pretty impressed all three of them are, are good green companies that can help us go green you know, with the price of gas and oil going up. So. Well, um, I am part of a family company called Patco Organics out of Amarillo, Texas, and we were doing bioremediation using microbes, and um, we found that a lot of the times microbes weren't enough to help clean up oil spills. We needed something that would absorb all the excess oil sitting on top of the soil. So, um, Dennis got us in contact with somebody from Clean Oil and told us about the biomatrix. So we flew to Dallas um, and a attended a, a conference. Uh, really just about, we were only interested in biomatrix, but after seeing all the other products, we realized how amazing they were and how well they worked, and we saw a whole new market for um, business. So we got involved with clean oil and power up and now we sell all three. Uh, anybody else that wants to get involved in this, uh, please take a look at this. This this is something that's really starting to grow, especially with the price of fuel right now. Uh, it is it is really starting to uh, take off and um, and now what happens, my customers will go out there and uh, they'll be telling how they're making their truck run with less cost and I get start getting phone calls from people now wanting to do the same thing. So it's been really a fun thing. Um, great products, and they're, they're all backed up by a wonderful people. Um, the products are great. Obviously, they are, the, like everyone keeps saying, they're, it's just a no-brainer. Um, they do what we say they do. Like, the clean oil is just amazing. Uh, keeping the, they're all cleaner than brand new is huge. And when you can do that for a prolonged period of time, 
uh, we're getting companies anywhere from five to ten times the extension just with Clean alone. And uh, it was been a great standalone product for 33 years. Well, it's it's stood up to the test of time, and the numbers don't lie. So. I love Clean All, but then Power Up is a great standalone product as well. It's been around 27 years, and uh, just the combination of bringing Clean All and Power Up together, it's just amazing. I, I love the synergy, and then the buyer matrix. Uh, anyone that can buy one of our products has a need for all three. So uh, it's just it's just huge to have like uh, all those arrows in your quiver when you go in to try and sell a product. Um, in fact, we're not really salesmen; we're more consultants. You know, I just I just love the synergy between the products, and the buyer matrix demonstration is amazing. Uh, when I first saw that, I was just like blown away uh, when John drank the water and watching the yellow paint you know stick into the clay and then put it with biomatrix and you just you can't even see it it's uh, it's all encapsulated in there so that's uh, the three products just speak for themselves well I work for Maine Maritime Academy uh, it's a maritime college up up in the state of Maine and I'm always I'm the operations manager for the, for the entire fleet and so I'm always looking for ways to save time and save money and uh, clean oil filtration uh, definitely gave us uh, both time savings and money savings with uh, their product. Um, we were looking for ways to reduce the number of times we have to change oil, and both uh, in terms of the expense of changing the oil, but also the number of man hours required to do the job. Uh, I, my time, uh, or my job is to make sure that, that uh, the man hours are spent uh, doing things that are productive and and so anyway, uh, lube oil and uh, the issues with lube oil, including moving them off the boat and the environmental issues surrounding that um, and, and the maintenance issues, the time, all of those put together combined uh, uh, made the product very attractive to me. And, and uh, I, I tried one unit on a generator and it worked really, really well. We had great results. We, we were monitoring the oil using oil analysis. Uh, the particulate level was going down. We ended up going uh, two oil change intervals over normal. And uh, uh, again, great, great results with the um, lube oil analysis. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and so anyway, we ended up uh, putting the product on, on every vessel we own. Well, I'm a pilot and a farmer and a rancher, and so being a firm believer in the power up, uh, basically we add it to, to all of our equipment, you know, from our earth moving equipment right down to my airplane. And after seeing what the power up had done on the, on the temp confriction machine, I knew that I definitely wanted it in the, in the airplane. So we went ahead and we put it in, in an airplane that uh, we'd had some engine work done and due to some uh, unexpected consequences of, of, a, of uh, an overhaul that didn't go out exactly as we'd planned. We lost the engine in flight coming home from Dallas, Texas in the Arbuckle Mountains of Oklahoma due to loss of oil and oil pressure. And basically we flew the airplane roughly 11 to 11 and a half minutes with no oil at all or oil pressure to get to the only spot that we could make a forced landing in a clearing. And uh, when we got through with everything all said and done after two days of laying in the field, we drained out approximately a third of a coffee cup of oil was all that was left in the motor and the engine didn't seize. We had compression on all six cylinders. Uh, didn't score the pain on the outside of the cylinders from excessive heat and basically it kept the engine from locking up due to what I've been told from the NTSB normally those engines lock up in two to three minutes when they lose oil and oil pressure and so basically what they told me is is I probably owed my life to have an additive in the engine because that was the only thing that kept it from seizing under those conditions so basically I, I if there's anybody that, that can preach to the story of, of power up, I'm basically the Billy Graham of power up because, you know, I depended on it and it saved my life. Well, when they made, set me up, uh, when I became a master distributor, it gave me a lot better pricing so I could pass it on to the mines. Like I say, I was already dealing with a lot of the mines, and so I was able to, to make more money, better profit margin for myself. We went ahead and uh, put the clean oil systems on everything in our fleet at our shop. We have uh, seven Duramax diesels and a couple of Ford Power Strokes and a Dodge Cummins. We put them on all of those. Our loaders, um, 
along with the clean oil, we put the power up uh, all through the engine, uh, rear end, front end, transmission, and the Gen 49D. And just in one of my trucks, which was really bad gas mileage before, I used to get 14 to 15. After I went through and changed everything on it, the next trip down to Vegas, I got 21 miles to gallon. So bottom, bottom line, it's going to increase you know, our productivity and cost a lot less for the travel that we do. And um, I just think it's going to be a great product for, for the age we're into. The cost of oil continues to rise, and it's at $4 for diesel now, and we haven't seen, you know, the top of it yet. I think it'll probably hit 5 bucks before the end of the summer once we hit Labor Day weekend. So, you know, companies are looking for a way to, to cut their bottom, uh, cut their costs and improve on, improve on their bottom line. So. I think this is definitely something that's going to be an advantage to have, something that will draw people to us you know, in all aspects of our business. So, Personally, I, got, uh, I used this product two years, the power-up products, two years before I started um, uh, uh, being a dealer. And what happened there is I put in my truck, and I didn't know what to expect, and, but all of a sudden I thought my motor fell out. It ran so quiet. And I thought, this is this is this. This is hard to believe, and so I pursued by calling technical data to Calgary, Canada, direct at one time. And of all people, I got to talk to Mark Bishop himself, one of the company directors, and he was the most gracious individual to visit with, and he gave me all his technical data, sent it to me, and I started reading it, and it was exactly what they said it was. So there's no, no hidden agenda here. It does do the job. Uh, clean oil uh, products uh, are you know, extremely well made and, and do an incredibly good job of uh, what they advertise. Uh, it's, it's advertised that, that they will clean your oil and take the particulate level down and uh, they live up to their word. It, it works really well. Yeah, I guess, you know, the products are great and, uh, and the business side of it is great as well. And what I really think is one of the most important parts of this whole company is the, uh, the integrity of the people. Like, you know, the John Clevelands, the Jerry Robbins, Mark Bishop, you know, you your Bart Millers, Peter Eastwick, Barry Phillips, all these guys, it's kind of like Clean Oil's a, a huge company, it's, it's, and it's growing uh, at a phenomenal rate, but it's still kind of got that good old boy mentality where a, a shake your hand is better than the, uh, a contract, you know, that you can write down. Everyone here is like a family, and uh, people just don't say that, we really are. We all share ideas, and you can call up anyone any time of the day or night, um, pick their brain, everyone's available. I just, the company itself, uh, the products are awesome, but the people are even better. So I just wanted to add that. For people looking into uh, a new type of business, um, what I can what I can say about this business is that the timing is perfect for all of these products. Um, the environmental side of it, if you have anything, uh, if you have any environmental, um, if you're a proactive environmental type of person, um, this fits in really well with that. Um, and you know. Timing is timing is perfect right now for all these, so it's definitely worth a look, and, and opportunity is definitely all there for you. Where we see savings is in the in the number of oil change intervals we've been able to go through. Uh, typically, we would have to change the oil on the boat every 200 hours, and so uh, instead of changing the oil three times a year, uh, each oil change costs roughly $1,700 on the tug. And that's where we started using the product, and, and, and that's the, the largest vessel that we, we use it on, and, and that's where we wanted to see some cost savings. And, um, and so anyway, long and short of it is that we, we uh, saw great savings, and uh, we, we ended up extending our oil change interval out three times, and we're now just changing oil once a year. And, and at the end of the year, we could probably go longer, but we, we just felt that once a year was a reasonable uh, period of time to operate on that on that oil. So, but the actual numbers coming back from lube oil analysis, even at the end of the year, is still positive, and um, and there's no recommendations at all coming back with analysis. So, so we're pretty confident that we could go longer if we wanted to.